Hi, my name is Ashley with the Nocturnal. So um, my first question for you is that, well, just for starters, Uncle Nassim is personally my favorite character. You mm -hmm. like never know what to expect with him. He's always just like, um, but it seems like this season, he's kind of turned over a new leaf a little bit. Um, he's working in you know, the, the Diamond District and stuff. So um, just how fun is it playing his character? My God, hi, first nice to meet you. Hi, Ashley. Um, yeah, it's so much fun because I get to do, it's almost like there are no, <laughs> no rules for Uncle Nassim. He gets all, always gets the fun stuff. I don't even need to, I don't even need to ask what's going to happen, Uncle Nassim. I just like, I don't need to, need to read scripts way in advance because I know it's going to be fun. So it's always, it's a lot of fun playing, playing Uncle Nassim, especially that beneath everything there's depth, you know, there's not just like, it's not just on the surface, there's everything is deep, you know? So, yeah, and um, for those who haven't seen it yet, not to spoil anything, but can you just kind of go over um, like his arc for the season? This season? Well, um, I think this season, uh, you know, I have a lot of stuff going on with Rami that's not good, um, you know, and uh, uh, it becomes a challenge. There's, there's challenges at work, and then there's I start recognizing this inner, this, 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 this deep conflict within me, this uh, almost like I identify it as a demon, like I'm possessed by this demon and I need to get it out. And, um, and I struggle, I struggle even more with that. And, uh, and there's a moment of hope, I think towards the end, the season that particular scene I don't know if you know which one I'm talking about I think so yeah <laughs> uh, and so that's like kind of like okay so maybe there is you know that sets up uh, like the seed for hopefully in the future I'm finding peace but uh yeah his uh you know his pain grows and on top of that his connection to the family is like uh, the relationships are all strained everything is strained i mean this whole family <laughs> it's a tragic shakespearean family. yeah <laughs> definitely <laughs> um so now that you're in the third season how has the dynamic between the cast been are you guys all just like a big family now yeah i mean you know R rami set that set that bar up and that standard from the first season so we were already close and then you know, we, like, I've known Rami since he was really young, since he was 18. I've known May since she was really young. I've known uh, Hiam since, like, we worked on The Visitor, like, 16, 17 years ago. And Amr came into this all. So we, we already had these dynamics going on, and then we just loved the show. And and Rami is one of the kindest people, literally, that I can, in every way I can say, uh, uh, kindest people and um and he brings people together that's what he does and and we became so close it's ridiculous how close not not only just the cast everyone but we we didn't shoot for two years i came back to set i remembered everyone's name from the pas to everyone involved because that's how close we got and that's how the sh important the show was to them too just like it was for us so it's it's kind of special i don't think i think every artist is lucky if they have that experience once in their lifetime I'm happy if I don't have it again, I've had it. Awesome. Um, yeah, that's really great to hear. It's nice when sets are like that, I imagine. Yeah. Um, so my next question, what do you think is next for Nassim? Oh boy. I mean, what is not next? <laughs> <laughs> what is not next? So see, like Rami's going to be raising the bar and cooking something up, something genius up. So I don't, you know, it's it's so funny because it's the first time like in my life I don't care. I don't like I don't have the urge to hey, can we talk about what's gonna happen to my character next season? Because it doesn't matter what I think, because I know he's gonna do something better than whatever I could think, because that's how his mind works. So I trust I trust I'll I'll be in good hands and um and we'll see, we'll see what happens. It's it's gonna be fun no matter what. Cool. And uh, my final question, do you have um, a scene that was the most memorable? Um, do you think you would say the last scene at the end, not to spoil anything? Yeah, yeah. I think that was that was a very, very special scene for many, many reasons. First, for the for the significance of the scene to the show, to my storyline, my relationship with that other person, 
And also, I've always wanted a scene with her. So um, it's uh, 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 it was a special scene. But then again, like every scene in this, every scene in this show is so, you know, is so beautiful, so uh, um, so well written, and so memorable. Um, I guess my next question is compared to um, your like previous roles in the past, how would you say this compares? Well, um, I mean, I've been doing it for a long time and I've, uh, you know, taken many roles that of course I'll never do again, but I had to take them because that's what was available and that's what we had to do, you know, whether, you know, terrorist roles or roles that are not, you know, you know, fully realized characters, two-dimensional characters, stereotypical characters and stuff like that. And we had to do those. And now I don't have to do them. I don't mind playing a bad guy who happens to be Middle Eastern or whatever, but if he's written, if he's three-dimensional and he's real, like Uncle Nassim, a lot of people don't like him, but he's a real person. And that's why I love playing him, you know? And uh, especially in first season, it was very hard for people to, but people were, you know, watching him because he's real and they know someone like him as opposed to being just like a, a cardboard character. And that's the difference between now and, and uh, before. Yeah. I started shifting about, for me, about five years ago. I said, I'm not, that's it. I'm, I'm going to be picky from now on. And I guess my final, final question. Yeah. Um, there's a really funny scene where he makes, where um, Nassim makes a um, commercial for the jewelry, the jewelry store. Um, how fun was that scene to make? And um, do you think it's going to help get business at the store? Oh my God, that was probably one of the most fun days I've ever had. <laughs> oh my God, there's so much improvisation on that. I don't know. I don't even know what was scripted in that. No, it wasn't. We just like kept on riffing and having fun and uh, it was so much fun. But um, um, yeah, it was just like, it's like the tackiest, you know, <laughs> it's like the tackiest commercial ever, but uh, it's so good. It's so good. It was so funny. Yeah, it reminds me of uh, Uncut Gems. <laughs> Uncut Gems, yeah. <laughs> you, wanna, you know, you know, it's a funny thing. I had, I had a watch. I had a watch on. I had a watch on in the season because the prop department was the same. You know, prop people from you know uh, who were on the gems and the watch that I was wearing that I take off and give to that guy one time. He take it when he wants money. And that's the same watch that Adam Sandler had and he gave it to sell or something like that. The same, same watch. <laughs> oh, no way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so, really funny. Well, um, I guess I'll uh, wrap it up now, but um, thank you so much for your time, Leif. Thank you so, you nice so much. Are you, are you in New York? Are you in New York? Yes. Oh, nice. Pretty cool. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> All right. Well, so nice to meet you and you uh, have a wonderful day. Yeah, you too. Congratulations on the huge success of the season. Thanks I hope for watching to see it show. win some more awards. I, I hope so. From your mouth, like maybe somebody <laughs> will notice us. Hopefully. We'll see. Yeah. Well, right. I definitely did from the first season. And from there, it's just gotten exceptionally better. Oh, wow. Thank you yeah. so much. You're awesome. Yeah. Appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. Have All a good right. one. So not only is Rami struggling financially, but the entire family is struggling with potentially needing to sell the house. Um, right in the first episode. Um, and we see um, with Rami, only Rami and your character, he is working. Um, can you walk us through the tensions between the family? I guess th the main thing Dina is focusing on is passing the bar so that she can, you know, try to help with this burden that they're going through in some way. Um, but it's funny because that first scene where we're at the dinner table and Mesa is complaining about the money and the house and, and what's going to happen sort of just sets the whole tone because you see Feru always trying to calm the situation when he's part of the problem, you know, and Mesa is just so frustrated and Dina, in my opinion, just feels a bit stuck, you know, a bit more stuck than she has maybe in previous seasons. Um, while Rami has a bit more of that con uh, 
sort of autonomy because he's doing his own thing. So I think that kind of, so I don't know. I don't know if that answers your question, but I feel like that's just where they're at. I would say watch the show. Then you will know. Yeah, that's a joke. Anyway, no, I, I think you're right, May. Uh, uh, I think at each character in this season has its own struggle, but everybody in this season is struggling and the whole family is struggling together for maybe a better situation or a better life or a, 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 like a, some kind of exit towards something maybe that they've been waiting for all of them individually and collectively. So um, I, I guess this is really the tone of our, or, or the theme of, of this season. Yeah, definitely. That's actually my next question for you, May. Um, what is it like, um, like do you, have you ever, did you ever wanna be like play a lawyer at all um, where your character, like is that something you ever thought of personally? Yeah. <laughs> And is um I also was wondering like how is it to just play her character? It seems like you can actually tell that you love your character a lot and can relate to her a lot. It seems like I'm very protective over her, mm-hmm. and I I always want I want her to like have already figured it out, you know. Um, and so I'll argue with Robbie sometimes, like, no, I feel like she should be saying this and do this, and he's like, she's not there yet, and I'm like, okay, fine. But that's like my protection over her in some ways um, as a woman to like a younger sister almost. Um, Yeah. I just had a brain fart. I'm sorry. (laughs) Good. (laughs) Um, So are you guys able to give your own feedback to Rami a lot or is it pretty much just um, like by the script? No, it's collaboration always. What did you say? Like it's always a collaboration in many ways. Yeah, it is. I mean, the scripts are really pretty good already. Like when we receive them, they're really like, uh, they're great material to work with. And after it's just like how you appropriate really that material towards whatever your character is. And just like feeling, feeling comfortable with it, feeling that you can still like kind of uh, doing whatever is there is just like still your character and you're not just kind of, you know, uh, riding another horse somehow. <laughs> it's uh, yeah. Yeah, But it's a lot of, yeah, I mean, Rami is really very, very open to a lot of things, but Rami also is someone that would hear he would take or not, you know, uh, but he hears you and if it's good, he takes it. And this is really where it's great, you know, like, Uh, So like you start filtering yourself, sometimes the things to share, because you start knowing him, and we start knowing him. So like, whatever you say, and like, you know, that like, it's better to kind of like save your energy to say things that you're sure he would take, you know, Mm -hmm. because we're not like we didn't only started, we have been working together, and we really got to know each other, you know, after three seasons. Great. Well, thank you so much for your time. Really appreciate it. Thank you.